um, today I'm going to be making a roosting pole. It's going to fit inside the omelette egglue coop. Uh, and I'm basically, it's very simple. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just show you how I do it. So in order to do this, I need some sort of pole. So these sort of, I'll take these fence posts, can you see this? Uh, normally used for sort of staking to trees. It's called a round tree stake. I'm going to basically cut this to size and I'm going to take, so cut that in so that it can fit uh, into the egg glue uh, run. And let's, I'll show you one that I've already done. As you can see it's in there and they, like, they love to roost on it. Can you see what's happening there? It's sort of, obviously you need to cut into it so it fits between the bars. It's really sturdy. You can get three big chickens on there. Maybe if it was wider you could probably get more. Um, so I'm going to basically, there's room for just one more. So I'm going to have almost like uh, a step and then another one. So I basically just need to measure the width of this. Right, so I measured it. It's about um, 100 centimetres it needs to be long. So I'm going to take my trusty saw here and I'm going to measure that. And basically, first of all, cut it down to 100 centimetres wide. It's actually about here. I did measure, I'm not just guessing, because I just need to start sawing. Take this label off, it's in the way. Okay, here we go. Saw that off. Obviously, you can make it a bit longer for the egglue uh, run. Uh, any, if it's much too long, it'll be hard to wedge it in. If it's too short, obviously, if it's too short, then it won't. It will fall short. So there's a bit of wiggle room either side, but I think 100 should do this fine. What I now need to do, um, as I say, is cut in there to make a little, little bit that sticks in the edge. I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, hopefully, cut in there, and now I'm just. Sort of cutting down to meet it here. Right, so that's one. So that's one side done. Okay, just need to work on the other side now. Okay, it's been done at both sides now. Yeah, it's pretty rudimentary. Nothing too pretty about that, but it's functional. It's functional. So I'm going to put it in with the other one now. Oh, yeah, they've used the, the lower one. But are they going to use the top one? Look, Fern, she's looking up. She's having a look. Are you going to use the new one? It's shiny, there's no poo or mud on it. Go on, make the jump, the leap of faith, you can do it. Yes! And one of the reasons I did this is because well, they really like roosting. And uh, obviously in the winter, when the sun comes up, they can sit up there, get a bit of sun, and do a bit of preening without being on the damp, soggy ground. So hopefully, it's going to be a success. Yay! Oh, well done, Fern. Well done, Fern. Thank you.